And now it's time for Heisman History Highlights brought to you by Nissan. Shift the way you move. Welcome to the Top 25 Notre Dame. And by default, also welcome Jimmy Clausen into the Heisman Mumbo Jumbo Talk. Now, a lot of people don't think he belongs. He's just a boy, but think again. The kid has the Irish off to a four and one start. He's thrown for over 1,500 yards, 12 touchdowns, and he's a gutsy little sucker. But a test it will be when the jeweled shillelagh is on the line. What if the Irish go on a south bender when the Trojans come to play this weekend? Your follow up question What are the chances an unranked team can still harbor a Heisman candidate? Well, look no further back than 19. 85. Vincent Edward, Bo Jackson's Auburn Tigers, lost to Alabama in something they call the Iron Bowl and Texas A&M in the Cotton Bowl on back-to-back -back weeks at the season's end to finish 8-4. and four unranked. But going all the way back to 1935, only one quarterback has won the award with an unranked team and a losing record. 1956, Paul Hornig, the Fighting Irish. This just in, Notre Dame has some pull. For more on the Heisman History highlights, tune in every Friday as we continue to tick down to Judgment Day. All right, thank you, Mark Davenport. Good job, by the way. It just reminds me of the Paul Horning winning in 1956. Johnny Majors at Tennessee was a tailback. Tennessee undefeated that year, national champions. Everybody thought Johnny Majors deserved it. Does Johnny remember it? The last time I talked to him, which wasn't that long ago, oh, yeah, he remembers it. <laughs> he always says, how's your friend Paul with his Heisman after all those years? And speaking of award winners, and wow. Andy Hyman's with us, and wow. Andy with original retro brands. By the way, I'm talking football. Uh, uh -huh. We always show the crew dressed uh, in uh, in your t-shirts. Well, that's good. And they're looking pretty darn they're sharp. They're very nice. Barnhart and Schlebaugh and Brady Ackerman on that show are yeah. wondering why they don't have t-shirts. And I said, I'll talk to you on the show when you're here live. Well, I think uh, if they give me the preference of school, which they would like, I think we could probably hook them up. But right. these are a MasterCard. Am I, am I, am I covering <laughs> for right. these guys? Or we'll one? give them the you code. Are, they're going to have to pay like everybody <laughs> so, else. And, Nick, look at this guy. He's a shadow of his former self. Yeah, what's your story? Are you losing weight or what? Uh, I am losing weight on this Fight for Fit Challenge because uh, these shirts, they're kind of fitted. Mm -hmm. And I was fat like you were, you were once, uh, uh, Nick. I was going to say. Uh, <laughs> so uh, people, now, I think. every Monday you can win a free original. <laughs> retro <laughs> branch. This, oh, how about I this like one that. here? That's a good Oh, shot. my goodness. Yes. You know what? That you was could me. probably See? make Georgia's team this year. Uh, what was that, Bob? I'm you sorry. could probably make the Georgia team yeah, this year. Yeah, yeah. Um, and but, not into the bench either. <laughs> like starting lineup. But... Uh, <laughs> Anyway, the point is that every Monday, if you you know read my blog on originalretrobrand.com and you guess my weight, whoever guesses how much I lost, hopefully, uh, can win a free T-shirt. So we're wow. nine weeks in, nine happy winners. Okay, you've go. lost uh, 29 and a half pounds. No, I've lost 20. Oh, but I've got I've got 11 so. to go in two and a half weeks. I think to you make can do the it. goal, yeah, you can do try. it. If you know worst colonics, case scenario, fasting, or cut your leg off. Things. I was going to say, but uh, colonic. <laughs> okay. If you want to do that, that, that's up to you. Sorry. <laughs> We're going to get Andy's segment started here with an email, and this comes from Megan in Jacksonville, Florida, who is asking. Every year around this time, I always hear how the Florida Georgia game should move from Jacksonville. It's the world's largest cocktail party, even if they say don't say that anymore, and it should stay. Uh, what do you think, Andy? Should it stay in Jacksonville? Come on, uh, give us I, your thoughts. I kind of think it should. I like the uh, neutral zone where the both teams can drive. And, You've been and down there many times? Uh, sadly, I've not been yet. You've not no, been? No, I've not been. Come with us. We're taking talk. We're to We're taking go. a sports yeah, night. I'd love to go with y'all. Yeah, come on down to the landing. It is, it is wild. I've heard. It's okay. more than a football game. And it's going to stay there. It's a vacation. Yeah, it's going to stay there. Both uh, Georgia and uh, Florida have basically agreed, and we will have our sports night show live from the landing in Jackson. We'll let you host, Andy. We'll let you sit in. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, seriously, you'll be there? You'll be there? If you guys invite me, I'll go. I'm getting commitments on the air here tonight. Yeah, well, you're going to have to pay your own shirts. way. I mean, <laughs> we're not, we're not, you know, it's we're gonna not paying the freight or anything. But. Okay, let, let's talk a little bit about uh, there currently are seven SEC and ACC teams in the top 25. Which of these top 25 teams are in the tops in sales at original retro brands? That's a very good question. So you take a look at that. Uh, well, I would say right on top, um, and you're probably not surprised that the Gators, yeah. uh, a very big seller. Um, and as the, the rankings go, you will find uh, Alabama not far behind them mm -hmm. in sales, the pachyderm. Okay, you just put uh, Alabama in front of Florida. Are you did making I do your that? prediction right there? Uh, you picking, you picking I would Alabama? like to see that. 
Yeah. I would like to see Bauman beat Could Slaughter. Could happen. Sure. Okay. Uh, and then Virginia Tech. Yeah. Um, coming up in the ACC. And here's a uh, women's Georgia Tech ACC shirt. That's oh, going to okay. be amazing. Uh, who are you game picking, tomorrow. Georgia Tech or Virginia Tech? Got to go with the, with the jackets. Okay. All right. You know. What else you got there? Uh, I got a little Notre Dame, who I think... Speaking of Jimmy Claus, I think they're going to beat I, USC tomorrow. I oh. do. A word to the wise. I think they will, too. I think they'll win. Why not? Could happen. And uh, <laughs> A lot of things could happen. Well, these guys aren't in the in the sale, top sales. Wake. And they're not ranked, but uh, just got to show That's a lady shirt because cause they, they do, we do have women. And here, of course... Uh, the Longhorns. Oh, I love, yeah. yeah that's, that's a big game, too. I think they're going to lose to Oklahoma. Yeah, yeah. I do, too. I got to agree Their with you. Their running backs are, are not, not playing well. Oklahoma, Sam Bradford's back. That's what I'm thinking. Got another email here. Let's go right to it. This is uh, uh, Vic and Evans writes call. Great show, guys. Here is a solution for the preseason Chick fil A. Uh, the game, Georgia. Didn't we do this earlier? Yeah, we did this yeah, one we already. Did. So we're going to do it again. Like Matt Chur Chur they didn't like Matt Chernoff's answer, so we're doing so it again. We're going to get Andy <laughs> to weigh My in on opinion. this. His <laughs> idea is that Georgia would uh, would host <laughs> one year and Tech would host the next year, but they wouldn't play each other. They'd play other teams coming in from various other segments of the country. Well, what do you think I, of that? I like that for you know the sake of the city, and it'll draw a lot of people in. That would be exciting, but I don't think that's going to happen. You know, yeah. I mean, why would why would they do that? I mean, yeah. look, it's been very successful with, uh, you know, having it's Alabama true. here the last couple of years. All right, before you go, got to get your uh, what's going on with retro brands. Uh, well, if you uh, put in the code RETROCSS, which is uh, can be found on your website. Those two models will yeah, come to your house. models right there. Uh, you'll get 20% off, and that offer is good through November 1st. All right, good enough. Yeah. Early Christmas shopping, yes, sir. perhaps. Andy Hyman joining us from Original Retro Brand. Love to have you when you're on the show. You're Thanks for good. having me. Come Thanks. back when you're yeah. even I'm skinnier. Gone. Halloween. I'll Halloween. Be back. All right, That's he'll be back day. on Halloween. You Tomorrow. come back on Halloween and, and take that shirt And I'm thinking by then he's down 29 and a half pounds. That's what I'm saying. Woo! And by the way, have a great weekend. We will see you on Monday for 12.